A typical backup session begins when you insert a backup disk, CD, or tape and start your backup software. Your backup software helps you to select the files that you want to back up. If you're backing up to tape, you may be able to back up all of your program files and data files. With the space limitations of CDs, zip disks, and floppy disks, however, you'll need to select your most important files and make sure that they will fit on a realistic number of disks. The first time that you create a backup, you'll define a backup job. The backup job specifies the folders and files that you want to back up and the storage device that you'll use for the backup. Your backup software will typically let you save the specifications for a job so that you don't have to go through the specification process the next time you make a backup. When you start the backup job, the files that you've specified are copied to the backup medium. As the backup proceeds, you might be prompted to insert additional storage media. Make sure that you clearly label each backup disk, CD, or tape right after you remove it. Include the date of the backup. If multiple disks, CDs, or tapes were required, number them sequentially. When the backup is complete, you should test the backup to make sure that you can retrieve the data. Your backup software might provide a testing option. Otherwise, you can test your backup by restoring one of the files.